Since the beginning of time, humans have sought to master the skies. Flight in its many forms has intrigued us, and the pursuit of it consumed generation after generation. Modeling te our technologies from those found in nature, humans finally developed rudimentary flying crafts. Airplanes and rockets opened up a world of possibility, as well as danger and conflict. But today, I am honored to be joined by Liam Savage, the first American to master the art of human self-propelled flight. <laughs> well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. So, Mr. Savage, tell us about the journey towards human flight. Well, you see, I first saw it in Japan uh, by a gal over there doing some incredible things in Tokyo. And I thought, I can do that. Now I fly everywhere. Can you share with us how you did it? Well, no, as a matter of fact, I'm keeping that under wraps until clearance from the Pentagon. But I assure you, it's not impossible for those who are willing to think a little bit outside the box. <laughs> I see. Tell us what human flight feels like. Well, it's exhilarating. And it's powerful, not to mention handy. I get some funny looks, but I'm sure as the novelty wears off and human flight becomes more widespread, that will fade. At the moment, I'm somewhat of a celebrity. Indeed, and enjoy that while it lasts. Thank you again. That was Liam Savage, the first American to master human self-propelled flight. And you could very well be the next American to get your feet off the ground. This has been Patty Diaz for NPR's Fresh Air.